Hello, my name is Charles Martinez. Today's date is November 13th. It is approximately 1 p.m. And this is going to be my CERC 08C attempt. And in this C attempt, um, we will be using analog input to demonstrate analog input by reading an analog sensor on analog pin zero and uh, turning on and off a light emitting diode LED connected uh, to a digital pin 13. The amount of time the LED will be on and off depends on the value of the obtained by the analog read. Uh, pretty much meaning that uh, it will be uh, reading the analog control. Depending on where it's at, it's going to blink the light more or less, you know, faster or slower, pretty much. Um, the potentiometer attached to analog uh, input zero, uh, center pin and uh, the rest here and let's see let's go on to let's go on to the actual coding of it which we copied and pasted uh, from the uh, instructions and just uh, kind of cleaned it up a little bit and moved stuff around so it's easier to read and uh, we'll be going over and we have the uh, int um, the int value um, sensor equals zero so we're um, selecting the input uh, pin for the potentiometer and then we have int LED uh, pin equal to 13 and we're selecting the pin for the LED and then we have int sensor value 0 and this is the variable to store the value coming from the sensor and um, we have void setup uh, after that and it's gonna you know uh, we're gonna call uh, pin mode to declare pin mode as an output so we have uh, pin mode LED pin is, is output that's what it's going to read it as and then we get to the next the void loop where we will uh, pretty much um, start looping the uh, actual uh, program from the, from this point on and it's going to read the value of the sensor and which is sensor value equals analog read sensor pin so the sensor pin zero is going to um, pick up and read uh, what 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 value it's getting and based on the value it's going to turn the LED on, digital right, LED pin high, high being on, low being off. And then the next code, uh, stop the program for sensor value milliseconds. And then the sensor value is going to be dependent on the uh, analog read from pin, uh, I yes, pin analog zero, analog pin zero, uh, depending on where the, pit, the, the position of the potentiometer. And the next uh, piece of code is going to be turn the LED pin off and the digital right LED pin low, with low being off. And then the next piece of code is going to be uh, stop the program uh, for for uh, sensor value milliseconds. And uh, the sensor value is going to be, of course, the value of the potentiometer, uh, the position that it's in from the uh, analog read from pin zero and then the delay sensor value and uh, that's it and this is the piece end of the coding and um, we'll go ahead and uh, verify the coding make sure everything is good here so we'll go to verify and it's going to verify and yep we're good code verified and everything looks good so we're going to go ahead and um, actually let's go over the adreno kit itself and the wiring is a little bit different because my potentiometer is uh, was is, it, it came different pretty much. Uh, you have two pins on this side, which either side can be connected to the anode or cathode, and then you have the uh, for the actual pin that goes into analog pin zero. Uh, so on the um, instruction, it shows the potentiometer having all three pins uh, lined up on one side. So the wiring is a little bit different on this, just based on that. So on this side we have the two pins for positive and negative and as you can see we do have the positive connected to the uh, red column there and then the uh, the positive column and the uh, cathode is connected to the negative which is the negative column there which with the uh, green wire is the cathode and the red wire is the anode the positive green wire is the negative and we do have that jumpered over to this side here uh, red into red and green is the ground and then up here is where the they connect into the Adreno itself for our uh, five volt, and then our ground as well. And that's where we got those connected for our positive and negative. And then on our other side, we do have the yellow wire going to our analog pin zero here on the Adreno kit itself. Analog zero, A zero, and that is the yellow yellow wire. 
for the potentiometer so that's it's positive it's negative and the um, the, the yellow wire they're going to pin zero uh, for the digital read <clears throat> and then we have the LED the green LED connected to our 560 ohms resistor and the uh, cathode the negative and then we have the uh, as you can see our negative yeah, there it is our negative is our 560 ohms resistor and then we have behind it the green wire which the green wire is the um, connected there to I think that's a uh, row 19 on the breadboard and that's going to be for the positive or the uh, yeah the anode positive which is the longer lead on the uh, green LED and that one will be going into uh, pin 13 over here digital pin 13 to the Arduino itself all right, so let's go ahead and uh, connect it and uh, get it going. Uh, let's see. Here we go. And so now we'll upload it here. Upload. And yeah, we're good. Send and receive over here. Okay. And as you can see, the light is blinking depending on um, how much we twist the knob for the potentiometer is going to be depending on the speed that the light is blinking so um, if we turn it one way you'll see that it we will start increasing the blink and I'm turning it slowly and then we go a little quicker there we go and we're increasing the blink go a little bit more and it's like super go a little bit back and now it's blinking it's blinking really fast now and I'm gonna start to slow it down and slow it down twisting it the other way where we're slowing the beat or the blink and I'm gonna slow it down even more so we can slow the blinking down even more there we go and it's all the way low but we're getting a slow blink and if I increase it start to increase it increase it increase it we will start getting that blink to go faster so there you have it, uh, we have the, the uh, potentiometer controlling the blink speed time or delay time on the on and off pretty much which is causing it to blink faster or blink slower depending on the value that the analog zero is reading from the potentiometer here. This is my Circ, C, uh, Circ 08 uh, attempt C. Uh, thank you for watching.